In 1880, the graphic magazine, a leading illustrated journal, exhibited a series of specially commissioned half-length portraits of women entitled Types of Beauty. Each artist chose a model who, in their opinion, represented the ideal of feminine beauty. Unsurprisingly, Tissot chose to paint his model, youth and mistress, Kathleen Newton, the woman whose beauty helped him to create his artistic reputation, but whose background ruined his status in society. Tissot's type of beauty is among his most tender portraits of Newton and his most direct and uncomplicated images of her. There is no hidden narrative here. It is simply a portrait of the woman he loved dressed in the height of modern fashion, set against the background of nasturiums and geraniums. Kathleen Newton met Tissot in 1876, when he was living in London, after fleeing the Paris Commune and establishing a flourishing career as a painter of elegant contemporary life. For the moment he saw Newton, he was besotted of her, but as a divorcee, she would have been considered déclassée in Victorian society, and therefore he could not marry her. However, she did move into his beautiful home, and they lived openly as a couple. He painted her repeatedly in domestic settings, which were exhibited at, at the Gouverneur Gallery and elsewhere. This shocked many of their neighbours. Invitations seemed to arrive at 70 Grove Ends Road in St. John's Wood, North London, while people crossed the road to avoid him, as society turned its back on the artist and his living mistress. She began to recede into the shadows of Tissot's house, staying indoors or in the leafy garden, away from prying eyes and the whispers of impropriety. However, far from disappearing entirely, her face appeared in virtually every picture of this period, from the glamorously simple Mavronin, an oil engraving from 1877, and July to the more narrative, The Warrior's Daughter, both 1878. Type of beauty, in particular, would have made Newton even better known as it was printed in large numbers by the graphic magazine to be framed and hung in homes across Britain. From thousands of suburban front parlours and sitting rooms of country cottages, her face would have looked out at the admirers, even through they did not know her name. Sadly, Tissot and the Newtons' loving ideal did not last long, and in 1882 she became ill with tuberculosis and died aged only 28. Tissot was devastated, spending four days sitting beside her coffin and abandoning London for Paris the day after a funeral because he could not longer endure the emptiness of his home. The gossips in London stopped whispering about her. While in Paris, few would have known of Tissot's lost love. In one last tragedy, Newton was forgotten. The woman in Tissot's London's paintings was simply referred to as La Mysterieuse, for more than half a century, until her niece, Lillian Hervey, through just seven years of age at the time of her aunt's passing, came forward with memoirs in 1945.